that she conveniently, she fixed it right now. <laughs> What is up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Holy Saturday. Literally just got home from work a few minutes ago, getting this vlog started right now. And then I gotta rush to get dressed, eat a little bit of food, and we gotta get off the church because it's like 6.30 and mass is at 7.30, but tonight's gonna be pretty special. Tonight is the two hour long Easter vigil, so that should be amazing. But right now, while I get dressed, I'm going to throw you guys over to some footage that I've been filming all week throughout Holy Week from Palm Sunday, Holy Thursday, and Good Friday. So enjoy that and also, Fair warning, I'm not the best at uh, interpreting and talking about the Gospels and everything and doing all that stuff. I'm still getting used to doing it, especially on camera. So don't mind me if I sound stupid in some clips, but hopefully next time I try to do a video like this, things will be better. Happy Palm Sunday to you all. Currently starting the car at the moment and uh, getting ready to head out the door. It's 9.47 in the morning here on Palm Sunday. This is the first time we have gotten up in years to go to a Sunday morning mass. Mass is at 10.30, so this should be pretty interesting. I have no idea when this exact vlog is coming out, but this year I wanted to do something different, get a little bit of filming in on each day of Holy Week in which we go to Mass and basically just make an entire Holy Week slash Easter vlog. This should actually be pretty interesting. Gonna film a little bit of the church, gonna try to film the inside of the church as best as I possibly can. I'm not gonna promise any cinematics this week because uh, I think I would get a lot of weird looks doing that and there's never enough time either before or after Mass for me to do any type of cinematic sequences and also the the best they can do is just film what the church looks like as soon as I get there or as soon as mass is over but this should be a pretty interesting week and I hope you guys enjoy I'm trying to fix my hair before we go to the church because it's blowing all over the place but we just made it over to the church for Palm Sunday Mass. As I said, I'm gonna try to film what the inside of the church looks like, but probably not until Mass is over. So I'll probably see you guys after Mass, and then I'll also talk about, you know, what Mass was like and the homily and everything else. You know, you'll get the whole rundown. Mass is just getting over right now. We're gonna grab a few palms from up here. Just got some photos for Aaron and I's page, but the church looks absolutely amazing. The service was absolutely amazing. The procession was. I'll talk a little bit more when we probably get home so I have a little bit of time and can actually talk without having to completely scream at the phone. But, like, I would love to start coming to church more at 10 o'clock in the morning because this is just absolutely awesome. So, been back home from Palm Sunday Mass for a while now, ate a little bit of lunch, and now I'm gonna sit down and talk a tiny bit about Mass today. I thought I was gonna, like, be able to go on about, like, a homily and give the message that was given in the homily, but there was no homily today because if you went to Palm Sunday Mass, you know today was the really long gospel reading of the Passion of Christ. So, most priests choose not to do a homily after they read the Passion because because I think in the book that we have, we have the Breaking Bread book that has all the music in it for the services and then all of those for every Sunday. So I want to say the gospel was like four pages in total. So like that, that was a pretty long gospel. But mass started out absolutely amazing today. They had the procession at the beginning. They came in, they did the first gospel reading because on Palm Sunday, there are actually two gospels, one at the very beginning and and then it goes into a procession around the church with palms and they had all the Sunday school kids participate in the procession. They went around the church twice and then they go into mass normal and then they have the first reading, the psalm, the second reading, and then the actual gospel, the passion and everything. And like, I, I just loved going to church today. You know, mass just felt so amazing. Like, I cannot wait for the rest of Holy Week and it, it's just going to be awesome. So this wraps up the Palm Sunday version of the vlog. I will see you guys again on Thursday for Holy Thursday and I will definitely have some type of message to deliver on Holy Thursday because there will definitely be a homily. Also, before I forget, if you want to check it out every day
day of Holy Week, I will be posting on the 126 Studios page and the Catholic Duo pages, pictures that I take at church, and Aaron will be posting stuff as well. So the links are down there. Go check it out, guys. Amazing photos and some amazing messages in the captions as well. Happy Holy Thursday to all. Just made it over to church. I was gonna film a little bit while I was at the house, but I just decided not to pick up the camera. We're gonna head in. It's gonna be the same thing as Palm Sunday. I'm gonna show you guys the church, and then tonight there'll definitely be a homily that I'll be able to talk about after a mass, so that way I'll have some type of a message for this video. Sorry about the tiny bit of like a glare. The front facing camera is not the best camera in the world, but just leaving the church right now, the clip before this, I tried to film a little clip of adoration going on. I think I did an okay job. Like I couldn't show the church except for a couple pictures that I took, which I'm going to include before the clip of adoration. But mass was amazing tonight. I will obviously when I get home, talk to you guys about the homily. It actually fits along with the offering that I posted on today's on the story on the Catholic duo for today. So that's actually pretty cool. So I have been back home for about an hour and a half now, been taking care of some stuff, mainly getting all the photos posted to the Catholic Duo Instagram and Facebook pages, as well as posting to the 126 Studios page as well. But now it's time for me to wrap up this part of the Holy Week vlog, talking about the message from the Holy Thursday Gospel. So tonight's Gospel was one that we hear every single year at the Holy Thursday Mass, and it comes from John chapter chapter 13 verses 1 through 15 it is the story of the washing of the feet and i can remember hearing this gospel every single holy thursday i want to say the earliest i can remember it was back when i was like seven years old but up until this year i really never understood the message of this gospel and i will admit i really didn't pay attention as i probably should but this year i actually made it a point to pay attention and get the message this is the exact moment in the Gospels where Jesus gets up from table at the Last Supper and proceeds to wash the feet of all of his disciples. Something that, you know, speaks powerfully because he goes to serve others. The disciples call him master, they call him teacher, and yet he does the act of a servant in the middle of the Last Supper. And the last line of the Gospel, which I have right here, it is, you call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. And this has an offering at the bottom. This is a Lenten calendar for 2019, and it has a daily offering to God. And today's offering is to look for a way to serve the needs of another person. In life, I don't think I can definitely say for myself that we don't particularly look for ways that often to serve others, unless we work in a job to where, you know, that's what we have to do to get paid. But, you know, just going out of our way to serve others and not expecting anything in return. And I put that challenge out today on the Catholic Duel page because it's a very just amazing challenge. You know, go out of your way to serve serve others in ways that you have never thought of before or ways that you have never even wanted to serve anybody before because believe me there are a lot of times where I could very well volunteer my time and serve others for the greater good of God or just in general for the greater good of the world and I'm like well I don't want to do that that sounds boring or that sounds stupid or that's too difficult but in reality what can we do as people to you know do God's work here on earth and to just basically make this world a better place and i challenge you all even though this vlog is coming out after holy week is over to go out and find ways to serve other people even if you don't feel like doing it at all because believe me you are going to feel amazing in the end go for it my friends and uh, i'll see you tomorrow for good friday I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this, but it's Good Friday, y'all, and we are back at church for services. This is, I 
pretty sure the latest I've ever gone to Good Friday. Mass, or it's more of like a communion service. Because we always go at like three o'clock in the afternoon, but this year being in a new church, their service is at 7.30, but I'm gonna get inside where it's less wet and then enjoy the service and then obviously film the church or take a photo of what it looks like today and then uh, talk about the message from the homily. So just getting out of service right now, absolutely beautiful mass, even though it's not really considered a mass. Didn't get to film in the church. It's not much of a change from yesterday, just very simplistic. And everybody was just, you know, leaving in silence and going towards the back. So there was just no reason to go to the front and try to get any photos or any video. I did get a photo on the way out of one of the crosses that was at the front entrance, well, technically the side entrance. But I've got a beautiful message later on that I'm going to be talking about when I get back home. But right now we actually have to go run some errands, but I will see you guys after errands and the hardest nails call. We are finally back home from grocery shopping and running the errands that we needed to. And it's time to sit down and talk about the Good Friday message. And it was such a good one today. Like I got thrown for a loop at the beginning of the homily today. And then it made so much sense at the end. And it was just like biggest, you know, aha moment in the world. So first off to talk about mass, beautiful as always, priests and the deacon and the altar servers entering, the priest laying prostrate in front of the altar, everybody in silence, and then the readings, especially the gospel reading, the Passion of Christ. Now, we heard the Passion on Palm Sunday, but today we hear it again, and we really hear it from when Jesus is in front of the chief priest and eventually is condemned to death and is crucified on the cross. So it's sort of like a shorter version than what we hear on Sunday. It's still a pretty long gospel, but still a pretty amazing gospel. But the homily tonight was absolutely amazing, and it threw me for a loop, as I said. The former pastor of the parish did the homily tonight, and he started talking about Adam and Eve, and I'm like, okay, where is this going? And I couldn't understand it for the life of me until he started to get further and further in, and then I'm just like, okay, now this makes so much sense. So everybody knows the creation story, the story of Adam and Eve, and how Adam and Eve ate the fruit of the forbidden tree of knowledge. And, you know, original sin came about and death and everything. And basically, humanity was doomed to death and had no way of getting to heaven from that point on at all. And that was the exact reason that Christ came to earth, was to save us all from our sins, give us that opportunity to go to heaven, to repent of the sins that we've committed here on earth, because we're all human, we make mistakes, we're not perfect, it's to be expected, but we gotta try our hardest not to fall, and if we do, Jesus is there, God is there to pick us up, and to accept us again, because he will never stop loving us. But. He started going on and talking about these legends that are obviously they're legends. They're not proven yet, but there are some pretty interesting things to think about, some food for thought. The first of the legends was that it's rumored that the wood that was used to make the cross that Jesus hung upon on Good Friday was actually from the forbidden tree that Adam and Eve ate the fruit from. And the second legend, and I think this is pretty interesting as well, they're both interesting to even think about them. But some of the pictures of the crucifixion, you will notice that there is a skull at the bottom of the cross, at the foot of the cross, but it's like, okay, the place is called the place of the skull, or Golgotha, that's within the name. But then the pastor went on to say more and more and got to the point where he said, but in reality, it's actually rumored that the place where Jesus was crucified was also the place where Adam was buried. And Jesus is considered to be the second Adam, the one who came to save us all. And to finish off this Good Friday portion of the vlog, I wanted to leave you guys with a couple of quotes from tonight's homily that I will remember for the rest of my life and will help guide my faith journey and I hope will help guide your faith journey for the rest of your life. And those quotes are, the tree of death at that very moment that Christ said is finished, the tree that Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit from became the tree of life. And the cross at that very moment became the instrument 
of our salvation. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the footage from Holy Week. was really happy that I decided to do that back on Palm Sunday and continue it throughout the week. And I'm hoping that I'm able to do that every single year, but in a little bit of a different way next year. Just try to, you know, spice things up, make things different, and not always be the same. But I am completely dressed, obviously, photos on all social media to come later so you can see the full outfit. But I need to go get something to eat right now and then we're going to be headed up to church for Easter Vigil. I think there might have been a memo tonight for everybody to, oh geez, to wear some type of blue. My mom also has blue on. The only person in our entire family that didn't wear blue tonight was my dad. So he's the oddball out tonight. <laughs> Just got done with a quick, and I mean a very quick dinner. You don't want to be hungry in church. You don't don't want to feel like you're about ready to pass out. I think the last three days have been the quickest that I've ever eaten in my life and it's unhealthy how quick I've been eating but as I said you don't want to pass out. Just made it with four minutes to spare the past two days we've arrived probably about 12 minutes before mass started so kind of pushing it today but we are here the outside of the church looks beautiful and uh, we're gonna head inside and if there's anything for me to film I'll probably put it on my phone mass is just letting out right now and this is what the church looks like looks absolutely amazing but kind of can't really show the full aspect of it. I will actually put a photo in after this picture so you guys can actually see what it looks like and be able to appreciate it because dead video just didn't do it justice. just warped past a little time and made it over to the grocery store because come on why do you got to do this to me there we go because we actually still have to get the ham for Easter dinner tomorrow night because as always we're kind of last minute with a lot of things but you know what else is new with us at the moment kind of looking like we're about ready to strike out of this store and might have to spend the night running around looking for a ham because all they have is turkeys and we kind of already had turkey for that that's too small for a family of four. What is wrong with you? But we get a slice each. We'll update you guys uh, as we go along. This could be the great ham hunt tonight within the vlog. This girl is going to absolutely drive every single one of us crazy with her phone. She's already broken her iPhone 6 that I got her for Christmas a few months ago. Her iPhone 5 that she conveniently, she fixed it right now, conveniently dropped in ShopRite and the top of the screen was like, imagine the phone is like this, the top of the screen was raised out like that. And now basically I have to hold her phone in my pocket. She doesn't have any pockets and she's afraid she's gonna drop it again. She is accident prone with her phones. You're getting a life proof. <laughs> Well, what I thought was going to be the ham hunt tonight didn't actually turn into the ham hunt. We ended up actually getting a small turkey breast that we are going to cook up and use for another meal. And then my parents are actually going to go out in the morning and try to get a ham at Walmart because it's like 11 o'clock and we didn't want to be out till all hours of the night. So we just decided, you know what, get that turkey breast and then come home and then we'll go take care of the ham stuff tomorrow. But I want to apologize right here right now for kind of how bad I did the vlog for Easter today. I feel like an idiot with just how things went. Like, I was going pretty good. I walked into the church and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to be able to film a bunch of stuff. I did snap a bunch of pictures, which obviously I'm going to put in the areas where Vigil actually was happening in the points where we were at the church and I was filming. But I wish I would have filmed more after Mass. I wish I would have had some way to, at least on my phone, get some footage. But I was Mr. Sneaky during Mass trying to get photos. So just as a visual demonstration, I'm sitting in the pew, let's pretend I'm sitting, and I would literally look over and I would pull my phone out and I'd go like this, cause you can open your camera from there, and I'd go like this and I'd be like, 
tap. Take the photo real quick and then shove it back in my pocket. Almost drop it. Shove it back in my pocket before anybody would notice because I'm just like, I feel kind of weird taking photos in church even though this is for the Catholic Instagram and Facebook page that I run. However, to make up for the lackluster filming, I probably will do a vlog tomorrow for Easter. I just haven't gotten that far to figure out if I'm going to yet. I'm more of a do it on the fly, just wing it kind of vlog person now where I don't plan if I'm going to film unless I absolutely know that I'm going to an event or doing something really fun and exciting to where a vlog vlog is absolutely warranted and needs to be made. But before we go, I wanted to show you guys the offering for Holy Saturday, and I'm also going to show you the Easter Sunday one, just in case I don't film a vlog tomorrow. But this is the last line of the gospel for today that said, Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. And the offering is, I will take my comfort and hope from the risen Jesus. And then... Tomorrow, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead and the offering, I will rejoice in Christ's victory over death and his gift of eternal life. And then the final page, rejoice, he is risen. May the risen Christ bring joy and blessings to you and your family this Easter. I'd say everything that I read to you guys right there in that book pretty much sums up what was said at Mass tonight. Christ is risen. The grave has been overcome. Death has been defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my friends. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos, and I really do hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to, slap a like on it. Don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, and I do not understand why you haven't, you got to click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I'll see you guys next time with another brand new vlog. Remember to stay awesome. Keep smiling. You're beautiful. And I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. Also, happy Easter to all of you. Let the patient, and the, and the, and the, and the